no. Hi, welcome to Arm Wraps, and today is Saturday, and I decided to get some extra vinyl from the job site, and they didn't need any more, so what I did is I took the, the old door wrap off. This is actually a painted door, and I don't care if it's damaged like this, but I'm showing you how crappy the door looks right now. And now I'm just gonna use the die knock material. And this is not a straight white. If you've noticed, so this, it has like a little gray tone to it. So it's not perfectly straight. This does have a little bit of texture to it. It's like an orange peel texture. Uh, but I just wanna show you to make a crappy door look beautiful again. I'm just gonna kinda of do a quick demonstration on how to wrap a door. Make sure everything is nice and clean. But this one I'm not really too wor worried about. I'm going to hit both sides. Uh, also, I took the doorknob off. And the rolls of the die knock and the bell of the end comes four feet wide. And then, um, and this, I just measured it. And it's about 80 inches high. So this is the actually standard size. So this is a perfect size. And I'm just going to do have a quick demonstration on how to, to wrap a door. So make sure. If this is your house or office or whatever, just make sure the, the door is nice and clean. There's no divots, no bumps or anything like that. Uh, but then on this purposes, I'm just going just to wrap it just to show you guys how, how easy it is. So what I did before the video, I just brought the, the backing down about four inches, just enough to tack it on. I'm just gonna show you real quick. Push the ground and I'm just going to Overlap it a little bit. We're gonna tack it on, and those beat the gonna gonna be extra. Actually, I got an idea. So I'm gonna tack it on on one side. I'm gonna make sure it overlaps a little bit. Okay, I want to make sure it overlaps on this side because all I'm going to do is when I hit this side and then I'm going to hit the back side, I'm going to make sure the vinyl is overlapped. So next, this is on air release. And again, this is only on uh, demonstration purposes only. I'm just going to show you how to apply a door wrap. Um, there's going to be actually extra vinyl on this side. So what I would normally do is cut uh, the size of it. This is 32. And I would cut uh, probably a 34 or a 36 inch. So right now I'm just gonna get the excess off so I'm not fighting with it. And actually I can use that for the trim molding. But for now, so you do is I have a, a felt tip edge on that so it doesn't scrape or anything uh, and so I'm grabbing the back of the paper behind the vinyl and I'm pushing it down a little bit and I'm going to actually show you the, the reason why I, I, I'm doing this to make a look, show you the door needs to be as perfect as possible, the, uh, the, um, the surface is because um, you can see every little thing. You know, I'm gonna actually show you real quick. So at an angle, see all the little bumps and creases and everything? So if it's not perfect, you will definitely see it. But uh, like again, I'm showing you, I'm just giving you a demonstration on how to wrap a door. There you go. Mm -hmm. If you got any comments or questions, comment down below. I have an assistant that is actually is going to read to me. If, if, it, if you guys comment, you can, you can comment even after, after you do it. This applies to all the doors. 
I'm actually doing trying to do a 45 degree angle cut or angle this way and uh, it forces the air out that way. So when you get down to the bottom of it, of the door, I usually just roll it up like this, all the way up to the top. And then when you're installing it, you're just kind of bringing it down. Now I'm kind of rolling it. Okay, you got your knife. I'm going to use my knife to the bottom of the door as a guide. The excess off. Again, I'm, I'm doing this kind of quick. But every door wraps about the same as this. The better the door looks on behind the vinyl, the better. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this out right here. I normally do is I use primer 94 around the edges. So dad, oh wait. Oh, I didn't see that. One second. Did we lose it? I saw a message but it's not here anymore. Oh, well, I'll check it out when I get back. Oh, do you have a product that is a thicker gauge so if the door has a uh, bed board grooves, the gro the grooves will not be seen? No. Um, actually, in a way, yes. It's called Phototex material. It's not the Dynock or the Belbian, but it's a Phototex material. It's a low-tech uh, <coughs> fabric, and it, it actually hides a lot more. This is the 7 mil thick, and out of the, the Phototex, I believe, I think it's I think 10 or 11 mils thick. And so that's that's one thing you can probably use. Also, the Phototech material, we can custom color, custom uh, des put design work onto it or anything like that. We do a lot of custom, custom prints for door wraps. So if you're looking for a custom Actually, for door wraps, elevators, you name it, with the doors. We're getting more and more in the, in the cabin three doors. And later, later on, I'm gonna be showing you uh, how to do the cabinets, cabinet doors. Okay, so that's one part right here. Any information, or if you need any more um, information about what I'm doing on the Dynock the Belbian material, you can go to the website, the armwrapsstore.com, and you can see all the prices. You can see the availability, uh, the materials to use, and design work, and the, all kinds of videos, how-to videos. So right now I'm just grabbing the, the, the knife, I'm putting the knife against the edge. And like I said, I would use Primer 94 around the edges first. Primer 94 is a clear liquid and it somehow you put the Primer 94 around the edges and wait 5-10 minutes for it to totally dry and it somehow it bonds the vinyl big time. So it doesn't lift up or anything. Okay, the next step. Okay. Um. Can the person take a picture and send it to you for ideas? Yeah, 
You can email me at rmraps at gmail.com. Uh, you can go to my, my custom stuff, custom prints, at uh, rmraps.com. You can see a lot of ideas on the door wraps and everything. Okay, let's go on this side. Can you see okay on this right here, Dawson? Yes. Okay. Okay, again, I'm just going to overlap it a little bit. Um, a lot of times, you don't really have to take the doors off. You can do it in place. Over just a little bit. But uh, I do, what else do I do? Um, I do uh, elevator wraps on doors. They'll actually the fold elevators too. I do assistant living, door wraps. Okay. Okay, on these ones right here, make sure it's overlapped all the way. Okay. Um, on this one, it's a little more trickier because of the door. On this door, uh, a lot of times I just open it up. Let me um, actually put the, the vinyl down first. like a door wrap um, if you want an air release vinyl uh, matte sheen it's $160 uh, to print out and also uh, the photo text material is 180 because the, uh, the vinyl actually the, the products a little bit more expensive uh, for the material and we also have low tech vinyl that's $90 a door and every door door wrap is custom sized to fit your door. So if you have a nine foot door, it's still at $160 for the air release final. And if it's uh, even a, a four, foot, four foot wide door, it's still the same cost. I'm trying to do, uh, it's a basic price. Okay, again. Can you wrap just in t um, interior or can an exterior live in a condo and and can't do anything to the exterior of the door? Can we hire someone to to install? Yeah, to install the wrap in Orange Country, CA. Um, actually, um, you can hire someone to do the, if it's an exterior door, it needs to be probably metal and uh, a flat door um, and I've, I've tested out the the metal doors uh, and I live we live in Idaho and it's been about five years and they still look great uh, I made a video on that uh, last year we were walking around and I was looking at all my doors door wraps if that answers your question um, I don't know who you can call to install it for you Oh, no, just on the inside. Oh, the inside. Yes. Yeah, if it's a flat door, it'll last for years. And if you're looking for any kind of design work, uh, you, can, you can email me what you want, what you're looking for, and I can go find it. There's two. There's a website called uh, stockdobie.com that you can go there Check it out the the images. I mean, there's millions of images. I just need the name of the Im or I'm sorry, the number of the image that you're looking for. If you type in old doors or wooden doors or anything like that, you, you you'll pop up uh, lots of images. Okay, on this one, what I'm gonna do. 
What is the website? rmraps.com. Oh, my website or the the. This is what is the website? Uh, go to uh, stockdobe.com or uh, adobestock.com. Just Google that and you'll find uh, uh, the high quality images right there. The uh, she said, oh, oh yeah, never mind. Is that the right one? Yeah. Okay. Uh, where'd you go? Oh, here it is. So next, what I do is I grab my squeegee. And now I'm going to use this as a guard. So I'm going to shove that right there. And I'm going to put my knife down it, right where the, the hinges are. So it gives it a great, perfect cut. And also it raises um, the blade up so it's not uh, hitting anything. Okay. Now, let's, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually... Um, well, let's do the side right here. Let's get this out of the way. Now, what you see right here, I'm overlapping it. And I'm just using my thumb right here. I'm just going to tack it in just a little bit. I'm pulling my left hand that way just to stretch it out just a little bit. Okay, so when you're doing door wraps, let me show you real quick. So now I'm doing vinyl on top of vinyl, and that's where it seals it in even more. Okay, for the door wraps, what I do, and you can just go grab the knife and go right up to the edge. Sorry, and just cut right down. You can do that. But the bad thing about that is, during time, uh, when you're actually grabbing the door and you start grabbing that right there, or when you're walking by and you do a lot of rubbing, uh, this will lift up a little bit. So the best way, I could do it by hand. I'm not sure how I can teach you guys how to do it by, uh, by a tool or anything, but I go about a quarter inch I go about a quarter inch in, and I cut all the way down. I'm using my thumb as a guide on the door itself. All right, let me do a little trim work real quick, and I'll show you what. Now, if you don't like the look of the cut right down the middle, or a quarter of an inch right here, use that real quick, and I'm going to show you guys real quick. So you can actually, if it focuses, there he goes right there. It's just inwards a quarter of an inch. Uh, like I said, you can leave it right at the edge right here, but I like it right in the corner or the, the quarter inch inwards because your hands don't grab it and it doesn't peel up like that uh, oh you know what I can do this is actually the Phototex uh, door wrap and this is actually the um, I don't know if you can see it it's a canvas and the beauty of the Phototex material I'm going to show you real quick is you can pull it up this is actually the back end, and it doesn't damage. This is the $180 one, but uh, you can see the quality on that. And it, you can, it, don't worry about lifting. It doesn't tear, it doesn't bubble, and it looks great, as you can tell. All right, let's go back to the other, the other door. Oh, actually, you know what? That looks much better. And that for both sides, I that all that took less than twenty minutes. All right, can't see the grout under that. What what grout? Ah. Okay, let me go back to cutting the sides. Here you go. Oh. Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do 
make sure these are all. This is gonna be tough because sometimes um, these doors. So um, actually, so what I'm gonna, as you can see right here, I'm kind of grabbing it with my fingers, and I'm rolling it towards me. Same thing down here. So again, I'm overlapping it over here. I'm pulling it this way with my right hand now. And I'm gonna use my squeegee. And you can change any door you want. Uh, almost any door. The doors that have the grooves or six panel, um, I don't have the six panel ones here. But the six panel one, I highly recommend using the, the photo text material because the photo text material is a little bit thicker, it's a canvas, and actually it goes over the panels. Okay, on this one, I'm not too worried about the edges on this right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my knife, I'm gonna put my knife on the edge and I actually can't see it, but I'm doing a 45 degree angle cut right here. So it, it actually gets it tight. When you're doing this, to make sure you got a good sharp knife. Usually I like using brand new knives. So after this door wrap, from start to finish, taking out, you know, if I was cleaning it right and putting the door, I take the doorknob off, put it back on. Um, yeah, I see, I see about 40 minutes of doing this, 40, 45 minutes of doing this. And granted, like I said, this is not a perfect door. This is more of a demonstration on how to wrap a uh, crappy door. Uh, I would do it a little bit better. Actually, I would sand a lot of this down. Uh, if it wasn't a perfect, but uh, it looks way more better now than it did. Okay, I think we're done. I'll keep this on for a little while, maybe a six months, a year, whatever. But uh, thanks for watching. If you got any more comments or questions, comment down below. Uh, you can contact me at 208-696-1180. Uh, Email me at rmraps at gmail.com. And uh, go to my websites. I got two of them. I got custom stuff. is at the rmraps.com. And then also the Dynock and the Belvian, what you've seen right here, at the rmrapsstore.com. All right, guys. Uh, thank you very much. And um, subscribe to me if you like this. And if you learned anything, put thumbs up. And uh, I think that's it. All right, guys. Talk to you later.